Coming up this week on The Archer's Choice. And his head is down. He's like... I was actually going to knock you out of the way to get behind the tree. I saw these two really big trees, but one was only about this high. And it was holding a camera, so I got behind this one. This is the Archer's Choice. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. Unfortunately, Ralph thinks he's a cow moose, and I'm not sure what to do with that. Anyways, last week, Ralph shot his bull moose within two, day, two hours of actually hunting. Give Congratulations. I'm glad, because now the rest of the time, you had to film me. Yeah, I felt like camp. No, I better not go there. It's camera boy. Oh, no, camera, camera, camera boy. boy. Camera boy. Yeah. So congratulations. Well, that you was know, really great. And we left everyone hanging. We did, because when the chips were down, you know, you go to the guys to just close the deal, and, you know, it didn't take me long. Really? This, this week's and lucky logo is Hoyt, so if you see the Hoyt logo, we'll tell you where to go with it. Hit him where it Hoyt's. Hit it where the Hoyt's. <laughs> you know, I and could feel it. Could tear it in the air. Can you? Yeah. Well, you know what? Let's just get back into my moose hunt that we stopped and hung them all week long he with. did. Yeah. Were you all like get it going. kicked off? <laughs> Let's just roll that beautiful moose footage. Vicky, I, I, I actually felt bad for you. That bull, the entire time, had that shoulder point straight at He was always quartering. I never had a shot, so I didn't take him. You know, and, and I, I commend her for that because... <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Nothing. I still have this paddle. <laughs> <laughs> as good as Ralph's. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so Ralph had moose gods in his favor today? I don't know what Does he was doing behind us. He's probably spooking along. Mm, yeah. Okay, we twist a bit. Well, the stars, Saturn, that way. Saturn, Uranus. Yeah, oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Go. Okay, so I've had enough encounters. Now let's get to Richard. Richard, please do something with this moose, would you? <laughs> He doesn't have a huge body, that's because he's carrying 400 pounds on his head. <laughs> he's coming down, right? Just hope he's coming because I'm in here. 
us on the other side of the river. We're gonna have to paddle to the other side of the river to try to get them. Don't go away because since Vic couldn't close the deal and Richard's having some encounters, we'll see what happens when Richard comes back and she might not return. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now it's Richard's turn. And Richard's, he's, they're traveling upriver yeah. to meet up with Les. Right. And they're, they get into some great moose action. Do you think he can, can finally close the deal? I, 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 I got faith in Richard. Do you think Richard, I do. We're, we're pulling for you, bud. We're pulling for you. Come on. Once again, the guides have the cameras in. Well, oh boy. Action is starting to happen. <laughs> over in that swamp. We just had lunch up here on top of this hill. I'm gonna go over there and get him. says, hey, just follow me. We're gonna go crashing after him. We followed him right in here. Last, that was awesome. I can't believe that. Was that. Perfect. that was perfect. Nice shot. I believe that. Nice shot. And you stuck him nicely. You Way to go. Put it perfect. I can see his paddle. See his paddle sticking up right there. Look at this guy. Look at these blades on this thing. And the front. <coughs> That is just amazing. These are incredible animals. He's real thick there. Yeah, I called out and Rod told me Les is upriver. And he's having a lot of actions go talk to Les, so we did. So, I mean, we took us three hours to get up here. We uh, meet Les, have some lunch, step outside and see a bull standing in across the, across the pond. And Les says, I know how to get him, so. I just want to thank Joel and and Les, thank you, and, no and Billy Joe for making us lunch. And uh, man, I want to thank uh, Rod McGrath and McMillan River Adventures. Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. This week's Bow Hunting World Tip of the Week is, you know, like we said last week, we're going to try to educate everybody on understanding their setup. 
Today, so much hype is on, my bow's gotta be lighter, mass weight, lighter, lighter. The problem is, if you notice, most target shooters, whether it's bow, rifle, or whatever, they want a heavier setup because it gives them more stability. But brace height is very important. Brace height is the measurement from here to here. In other words, the longer your arrow stays on that string, the, or, the more energy it's stored into the arrow. For example, the shorter the brace height, the more the energy is stored in the shaft. If we go to a little bit longer brace height on a bow, it's, I mean, we're only talking, I mean, very, very minimal degrees, but the longer the brace height, the more forgiving the bow setup is. So, putting that all into perspective, if you're shooting a, a real short draw length and you want to have as much energy as possible, try shooting a shorter brace height. That is your Bow Hunting World Tip of the Week. Hey, congratulations, Richard. That's an awesome bull. And you don't want to go anywhere because when we come back, it's my turn up again and maybe this time I can finally connect. We'll see. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now it's my turn, and this is really exciting. This we were is really cool. We were actually floating down cool. the river, and we saw this bull. Wait till you see this, it's pretty cool. And this bull, you could tell something wasn't right. Right. And you never give up, and you always check it out, and you try to do what you do, but when Let's it's just your roll the turn, footage. Let's just roll the footage, shall we? And when it's not. Don't go away, we'll be right back and we're gonna see if Vicky could ever, ever close the deal on a nice big Yukon bull. I'll teach him. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now let's see if this woman can close the deal.
looked really mad. He looked really mad. I'm kind of scared. When, when, when I was putting that second arrow in, I'm looking at him, I'm trying to knock my arrow, and I'm looking at him, and his head is down. He's like, mm -hmm. he was all bad. I was looking for the backup guy. <laughs> the backup guy. <laughs> I was actually gonna knock you out of the way to get behind the tree. <laughs> I saw these two really big trees, but one was only about this high. <laughs> and it was holding a camera, so I got behind this one. Oh my gosh. Oh. Hey Ross. Thank you, buddy. Oh. No problem. I could oh. do that every day. Man. Oh god. Oh I'm god. spent, man. I need a cigarette. <laughs> that big bull that we saw across, that old bull, yeah. we all said that he looked like he just got beat up. And he was That's just standing there. Yeah, and this guy kicked the crap out of him, made him swim the river. He's not feeling very good right now. Oh, here. Oh, we got an arrow. Look at that. He got it like that. We made a nice Hell hole. Boom, baby. And it didn't break my arrow. That's sweet. Oh my gosh, oh. he's laying right there. Look at it. He went over this branch though. He went up in here. My arrow's right there. Oh my gosh. Nice fronts. Oh. Wow. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Congratulations, Vicky. Wow. Thanks again. <laughs> Problem. Matt, thank you so much for helping yeah. out. Appreciate that. Oh, Ralphie. What? Oh, thanks for being here, Ralph. <laughs> hey, Ralphie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this guy, it was a kind of a unique story, huh? We saw the old bull over there. Figured he he was standing kind of weird, like he maybe just got kicked, got kicked up a little bit, swam across the river. So we came up this way. These guys kind of heard a little grunt and came up river, got a whiff of of him. Parked the boat, beached the boat, came in. Russ started doing a couple just blind calls just to see if we could see something. He saw his paddles in the timber here and sure enough, we just went in after him. And once again, I got two shots for the price of one. <laughs> what a show, Moose Mania to the extreme Woo! or what? Check these bulls out. And once again, I got two shots. I can't believe that. I know. Well, that first shot, he came at us. There and was then nothing you I could do. You, you take your second I didn't shot and, duck. and you and Russ threw me behind the tree. You know, Russ, if you thank noticed, you for saving my life. I, was I appreciate filming it. And I took one for the team. I didn't dive behind any trees or bushes. I stood there and hey, I. Hey, did you see the width on my bull? Look at this. 65 inches wide compared to your 57. Okay. Look at that. But look at how much taller my. Well, wait. Look you're, at how much taller I am. You're on a snow wow, drift. Wow. A lot of things work. Wait a second. Let's try something else real quick. Before we close what? the show, if you saw the Lucky logo, the Hoyt Lucky logo, go to archeschoice.com. Let us know where you saw the okay, logo. Someone's going to want a right. Hoyt. Look at this. My, my bowl okay. is bigger because yours fits inside of mine. Time out. So time I out. win. Thank you so much. We'll see you next Her week. Scores same time. Same time. Mine's 215. Same channel. You next tell week. me who's winning. We'll see you here on Email the Archer's me. Choice. Bye. <laughs>